a bit more right. Well, I mean, big scores anyway in handball because it moves so fast. Having a look at that ball, though, which is sort of slightly sticky pass and it, rather pass grubby. It, pass it. Pass she's free. Yeah. She's a yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that without warning. I was rubbish at netball. Look at that. Can you feel how tacky it is, Chris? Now hold it up a little bit. What have you got on it? It's just resin. It's um, a little bit of glue that helps with the grip of the ball because your hands get sweaty. And most of the time it's in one hand, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you need to develop, and you have to. When you move, you have to bounce it every three steps. No. You, when you pick it up, you can only take three steps and then you have to pass the ball. Right. But you can bounce it as much as you want. Right. So, yeah. And we were talking about the fact that it's, it's growing in popularity here. As we say, the team was put together when you won London 2012. But Brit, born in Norway, and it's huge there, isn't it? Yeah, it is massive. The Norwegian, oh, the, the Olympic champion, the European champion, the world champion. So it is very big in Norway. So for me, it was natural to start playing handball. What's the appeal? Everything, I think. Everything. Yes, uh, <laughs> I mean, you love it, of course. Um, it's really fast, it's exciting. Um, something new happens all the time. You can train it one way, but something different happens during the match. Um, it's aggressive. I think for me, that's a massive uh, like attraction for it. I, we think it's everything you want from a team sport. Of course, all the other team sports are great as well, but we think that handball brings everything from all the other team sports into one. Yeah, it's lovely movement amongst players, creating spaces, yeah. creating uh, openings. Um, why isn't it, do you think, that big in the UK? Because we like our football, we like our netball, don't we? We like our basketball. What is it? I think it's hard to say. I mean, when I was at school, we never really get taught handball. We get taught everything else in netball, football, rugby, basketball. Um, it's just difficult to say, to pinpoint the one thing, the reason why. Unfortunately, we don't have the same culture as what we do have in the rest of Europe for sport and facilities and the access to sport and the access to funding as well. And It's not like handball is an expensive sport, but we do need a full-size hall and we do need a lot of court time. Um, so I really, really hope that it will pick up after this. I'm sure it will. You can see the, the support that we're getting at the Copper Box is absolutely fantastic. Everyone's loving handball. When you walk through the park, they, they're congratulating us on our losses. <laughs> and, yeah, but there's something that we take with us, and it's really great. Can anyone play? I mean, we were quite happy, actually, we were ecstatic that you were only we. You're only, what, five, four, five, five, both of you? Yeah, that's right. You don't have to be giants to play? No, you no. don't. It, it, it's an advantage if you are, but you don't have to be. The handball's made up of so many different um, qualities, like jump shooting and fainting, moving the ball, and it's more of a fainting. team sport. Yeah, not like fainting, but... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds way really too dramatic for me. How, how does that work? Just like you move your body one side, take the defender one way, and then quickly move the other. So we call Both it fainting. Sides, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> netballers do it, basketballers do it, and handballers And you're on the wing, aren't you, yeah. Brit? So oh, okay. you're, quite, you're quite small as well, yeah. so there's, there's hope for us all. How long do you think it would take to master a sport like handball? Well, least, to get a little good at it. Not long at all. It's really easy. I mean, I think, okay, we didn't play it in school, but you did pick up a ball now and again and throw around. So we yes. do have handball eye coordination. Um, the handball's not as complex as everyone thinks. It's quite easy, and once you get into it more, then you pick up the little things as you go along, and you get better and get better and get better the more you play it. But we've had, we've got three players on our team that started four years ago, and Catherine Fudge is one of them, and Louise Jukes and now playing on the team and I don't think you can tell that it only started four years ago. We were watching and we do feel sorry for the goalkeeper, oh, yes. especially when it comes to a penalty and they start doing a can-can and yeah. this sort of thing. Uh, what are the rules there? You, you obviously can move. You can't, no, you, can, you can't, well, I, you mean the keeper? The goalkeeper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, the keeper he or she move. can move about, yeah. but so you can only take one step as a penalty taker? Pardon? You can only take one step? What's no, the rules there? No, you have to stand still when you take the ball, not when you take the shot. I don't think we got the rules straight at all, Chris. You were too busy chatting, <laughs> I was busy chatting, going, oh, look at that. But no, we got it. Listen, a very, very good luck with your next match, which thank is you. tomorrow thank against Angola, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay, cross fingers. And thank you for bringing us yeah. a sport which many of us didn't know much about. Thank you. And you can have your sticky, sticky ball yeah. back. If I pick up a pen, it's never going to get out of my hand now. But thank you very much. Good luck. Thank, thank you very much. much. Oh, good luck. Uh, just to let you know, you can cheer on the men's volleyball team in their match against.